What I do want to uh, emphasize is that the, the, just put it in the sort of straightforward terms about contemporary debates, uh, design of a national health care policy is a matter of constitutional significance, even if the courts have nothing to say about it. Um, uh, the design of a national education policy is a matter of constitutional significance. Um, and, and the... Uh, in, in other systems, these rights to education or to health care are to some degree judicially enforced. In the U.S., they're not all that, they're not robustly enforced, uh, if at all. Uh, but the discussions that we as citizens and our representatives have about what we're going to do about health care are, as I, I, I will use the same phrase, are of constitutional significance. They say, they communicate something fundamental about our self-understanding as a nation, uh, and they can be as deeply embedded uh, as uh, anything in the written and judicially enforced constitution. Um, a relatively conservative scholar named Ernest Young has written an article called The Constitution Outside the Constitution, um, and he goes, enumerates things like health care policy, Medicare, uh, uh, voting rights statutes, uh, and says, you know, if, if you think about Social Security, um, uh, is it more likely that there'll be fundamental changes in the social security system, then that the um, provision dealing with the compensation of executive officials written into the Constitution will be amended. And I think the answer is no, it's not more likely that we, we are committed to a form of social support for the elderly. Um, and that's a commitment that is ours as a nation. Of course, we will alter and revise it uh, as circumstances require, but it is constitutional in that sense.